In this film, we will see the actual vocal folds of a singer as she speaks and sings. We are able to do this by using a fiber optic endoscope. A fiber optic endoscope is a video camera that records through a thin tube that has a light shining at the end. The tube is placed through the nose and throat of the singer, and the light at the end of the tube lets us see into the dark crevices of the larynx. The nose and throat of the singer are anesthetized so she doesn't feel the tube, and the process is not painful, although it is an unusual sensation. The singer can sing and speak easily once the tube is in place. Now, we are moving through the nose and down the throat of a singer. At the bottom of the throat, you can see a flap, which is the epiglottis. Beyond the epiglottis, we move into the larynx itself and see the vocal folds. Through the vocal folds, you can see inside the trachea. The white bands you see are the vocal folds, and the two large bulges are the arytenoids. All of the cartilages and muscles are covered with mucous membrane. Say A. A. No. E. Just say your name. Pat. Say it again. Pat Carnes. Say it again. Pat Carnes. One more time. Pat Carnes. Good. Again. Pat Carnes. Again. Pat Carnes. Very good. Now, Pat, let's have another little warm up. Okay, Pat, we want to see different types of adduction. Let's start with a tone that's too tight. E. Another tight tone. E. Good, relax. Let's have another tight adduction. Ah. We can see that it's hard to even get to your cords because you're clamping down. Try it one more time. Ah! Uh, you moved out of there. Try another tight adduction. E. Good. That was very good. Okay. And I'll start too soft with a breathy tone. Ah! Uh, good. Another too soft with a breathy tone. Good. Okay. And now start with a gentle and a complete adduction. Beautiful. Another one of those. Very good. Now, Pat, we want to sing some vowels. Let's vocalize using other vowel sounds. Good. Very good. Swallow. Again, each time I have you swallow, it cleans off the scope. So that's good. <coughs> now, try a little higher if you can. Do you want to try it even a little higher? Okay, go ahead. The execution of a flawless messa di voce appears to be an important part of becoming a skilled vocalist. 
What is, what is so important about doing a gradual crescendo and a gradual decrescendo on a given pitch? Let's see what happens when you sing some low pitches. for me just give me a call <coughs> good a little mucus that was sitting there on your cords that's gone great okay now when you sing some of those pitches uh, even louder let's try that <laughs> now if you ever want to sing through your passaggio from low to a middle voice Okay, Try that again. Okay. Try that again. Okay, now swallow one more time here for me. Now we want to look at some high singing, Pat, whenever you're ready. slowness is what we can that was good try that one more time At this point, Dr. Kirkham is attaching a strobe light to the end of the endoscope. The flashing light permits us to see the vibration of the vocal folds in slow motion. 
Give me an A. Do that again. Okay, now get me an E. What you to do is go through a scale, hold each note for about a count of three, okay? And you can start low and work your way up if you want, however you want to do it. One off two. That'd be fine. higher now, the same type of scale style. Mm -hmm. you to take a real deep breath. Okay, do it again. Okay. I want you to breathe in, but try to make a noise. Good. Do that again. Good. Yeah. Now, can you whistle? Go staccato. Do it again. Okay. Swallow. Swallow one more time for me. Okay. Now, just whisper, say, Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Do that again. Very good. 